Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Game two of First Departure versus Invasion, right around the corner. Game Ooh. one, though, what a nail biter! Yeah, that worked us up. Hopefully, you guys as well. And well, yeah, yeah, First Departure, they've got their work cut out for them now down the game. So, yep, Invasion one game away from the grand finals, but no elimination here. The loser of this series will be playing yep. uh, Team Malaysia first tomorrow, and uh, then the winner of that series will face off against uh, the winner of this series here. So, um, I don't know where did. Where did first departure go go totally wrong that game? I, what was the problem? I mean, they were playing from behind, so I think it was like they like invasion. I think it was just going re like that early game from invasion was phenomenal. It was like twelve and zero at yeah. one point or something. And Ridiculous. then it was maybe like a bit of overconfidence mixed in with just kind of over like just overestimating their true power for seating the high ground. Like mm. the shivers first on the razor, I think, made him just a bit too squishy. Yeah. So I think a few things just meant that Invasion needed to actually sit back and farm. And if they'd realized that sooner and played it like CSW did, I think they would have won that a bit more convincingly without the back and forth. But mm -hmm. it was still, I think, overall just a solid draft and game plan from Invasion. Yeah. And end of the day, good execution. I think that Shadow Demon deserved a special shout out. Yeah. Okay, man. It seems like every time there was an LC duel, every time there was a Chrono Sphere, he was getting off those disruptions and. Even if it didn't totally save the target, Ten it just made such a ridiculous remaining. difference. I think you compare his impact to the Abaddon. What did Abaddon really offer that Five game? Like, sure, he, he got rid of a couple arrows here or there, but Miracle was doing the same thing. Maybe it's Miracle getting arrowed, so Reserve he was saving time. Miracle. But mm -hmm. at some point, it's like just you need a support that offers a lot more in a team fight. Yeah. Well, this time around, Invasion, they get first pick. They grab the Brewmaster right away. First departure. We'll take Centaur and Skywrath Mage as their opener, but okay. Brewmaster, Dyer Razor, Team talk about a scary duo. Yeah. Two very potent heroes. It still. seems to be the metagame of these tanky, like, utility initiator, half-human, half-animal creatures. The Centaur, <laughs> half-horse, half-human. The Brewmaster, half-panda, like, half-human. The Tide, he's half-fish, half-human. Like, this is their metagame. That's yeah. how I sum it up. The humanoid animal things. That, yeah. that are just... Do s they do so much. All of these, like... They don't just have that one spell, Ten like sure, remains. Tide has his Ravage, but Anchor Smash is ridiculously good at all stages of the game, and he's Five a great lane, he can farm remaining. Ancients. Brewmaster just, he's got like a thousand different spells that do something, I don't know what, but... Reserve Centaur, time. Stampede, like even against BKB heroes, it can retreat, it can engage. Mm -hmm. Like these, these kind of initiators are just so strong right now, and I think Centaur and Brew are two of like, the best heroes in the game at the moment. I would, I would say so. Centaur is just... Yeah, he's he's a he's a beast, L literally and figuratively. First departure, they pick up Witch Doctor with their third, so that'll be their second support. Very aggressive support duo here. Huge damage output, good sustainability. Annoying for the the little brew pandas. Yeah, Radiant yeah team that's true. Pick. But here's a an equally annoying hero, if not more so, Jakiro. Hmm. A little bit of pushing power. Invasion like these drafts, which can just take down every other tower, it's like in a fairly timely fashion. Jakira is going to give him that, and Brewmaster also good for that. So, first departure. We'll have to see if they safe lane the center or not. That seems to be the ongoing trend. And same story with the Brewmaster. That's likely what we're going to see. Ten seconds remaining. Depending on where they want Razor, because maybe they want Ketchik on a more kind of snowballer hero. In that case, they put Brewmaster remaining. off lane, Razor safe lane. Mm -hmm. I think Ketchik actually plays a fair Reserve bit of time. Razor. Although I'm maybe yeah. more likely, like he played a Razor game yesterday. I want to say. Yeah, like I often if when they pick Razor, it'll be Ketchik takes him mid, and then Ghost will take uh, a farmer to the mid lane, yep. or uh, to the safe lane rather. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe uh, again the recurring trend where we see these Blink Dagger carry or heroes sometimes carries really just prioritized in the safe lane. I think for Invasion they'll wait and see the matchup because I think Brew's still a very good mid. Like he mm -hmm. actually. Like does just fine and can almost like win some matchups depending on what is who he's going to be up against. Yeah. You put Razor there if it's a hero. Like Razor can actually like out CS an opponent, but if it's an opponent that Razor's not going to out CS, you may as well just send Brewmaster there and Razor can win the side lane. Which Brewmaster he farms in the side lane, but he doesn't zone or get kills too easily. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, good that they picked up the Skywrath on first departure. Very good hero against the Brewmaster. Ancient Seal makes his life a lot more difficult with that long cast point on uh, the Primal Split. But FD thinking hard about this fourth pick here. They'll need a couple of cores. Their Miracle Hero, and okay, there's Ooh. the offlaner. A guy we don't pick. get to see too often, Lil Ishka fell the Darkseer. I speak for the team. Well, that's another in in ghost on the Nature's Radiant Prophet, most likely. Bang. I've seen him play Nature's Prophet a few times really well. I yeah. okay. Safe lane put center towards the safe lane, so we'll be looking at the central Skyrath has a lot of killing potential. It's kind of like the new Shadow Demon Center, and that and the Ancient Seal actually Ten amplifies this remaining. central damage output, mm -hmm. like much like the Soul Catcher does. But Skyrath, the better remaining. zoning hero. Yeah. Now invasion, they've got some pretty solid push Reserve here between Jakiro and Nature's Prophet. They could grab. Uh, okay, they bang. actually banned out the Lycan <laughs> themselves. Ooh. And they need uh, another support, I guess, is the main thing. Radiant yeah. team pick. Um, Shadow Shaman and probably a good ban, although we have not seen the Shadow Shaman in months, I feel. He was picked once at Star Ladder, but yeah, okay. very, very underloved right now, and I, I don't think rightfully so. I think Rasta still has some some prevalence right now. He's definitely not an every game first pick kind of support, but he's 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 a guy, you know. He's he knocks down. He some won towers. Ti4, man. Like yeah, this was this was the hero at Ti4 for. He's, he's still, I, th I think he's still semi-viable. Yeah. I mean, people yeah. talk about the Skyrath, who was like the most like new emerging Five pick, but it was Shadow remaining. Shaman who was winning mm -hmm. the big games. Um, so who else would work well here? For Invasion, I think they Reserve could grab time. a Wraith King if they wanted to. I think they want to... Oh, for Invasion, yeah. yeah. For First Departure, they need the Miracle Hero. So What's it going to be? Naga's been banned out. What else has Miracle been playing recently? It could be the Wind Ranger. Yeah, I like it. His Wind Ranger is pretty impressive. They do have sort of an awkward team right now. I feel like they want a little more team fight, like something Ten that can do some big remaining. damage. Viper's a possibility, but he's just so bland. I don't know. Five seconds Blood the Leech remaining. Commander again. Didn't work game one. Say, look, we'll come back, do a game two. Queen the Queen of Pain. Of Queen of Pain, okay. okay. Well, there's, there's the team fighter, so that makes a little more sense. That kind of... Venge, get the aura. I, I like this pick. I think it's... Good against the Skywrath the Centaur combo. Yep. Swap, swap out anyone who gets kind of like the, a different version of the Shadow Demon that has more pushing power, some Roshan killing potential with the minus armor. This is mm -hmm. a solid pick, and like they they instantly snapped snapped it up. They didn't even care what first departure pick. That was like we want bench. That's what it's all about. So yeah, I have to say I th I like this invasion draft a, a little bit more. I think this is kind of scary. They'll put Ketrick on the razor. He'll probably go mid, so it'll be FCFC. I think I said Ghost during the draft, which was a uh, mistake. I meant to say FCFC. He'll go safe lane on the Brewmaster, so he should have a very fast blink, which is always something to be wary of. Two supports that'll be able to put a lot of pressure on towers with the Venge Aura, your Liquid Fire, and then Ghost for the off lane. Very steady. I feel like FD. They have a lot of team fight potential, but the onus is on them to really make it happen and get a lot of kills. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I'm, I'm in the same boat that I think Invasion have maybe the slightly stronger draft, at least easier to execute. 100% um, on that. that. And yeah. I think that's a pretty important thing because it's like it, like Dark Zone offlane is a bit dicey in that sometimes he gets zoned out, doesn't get anything out of the lane, and you try and jungle. But Dark is a very farm dependent hero, so. Uh, Prophet, you know you get you got some guarantee that you can mess with the pulls, you can fall back to the jungle, and in some ways I'd say Prophet's less farm dependent than the Darkseer, so mm -hmm. we'll see how Darkseer well, works. Yeah, the Prophet's just a lot more versatile. You can push yes. with him, you can do some rat dota, you can team push, you can move around early on and help lanes, even just at level 3, teleporting in and throwing some auto attacks can be the difference between a first blood and somebody getting away. Mm -hmm. Darkseer, he's very scary towards the late game, but he Pitch needs a lot of farm. Sleeping. Ooh, he Razor. He really far in. The concussive shot's going to step us a nice high spot. Saves his life there. Now Ventral Spirit comes in with a magic missile. And Ketchik, he battle. lives, but he, was he doesn't really deserve fusion. to live off that one. That was just, that was suicidal. Walking right in blind, just dur, 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 dur. hey, oh, jeez. Yeah. Hey, hey guys. The, yeah, walking to scout, you want to take like the high path so you see him earlier, but also like he saw them and then kept walking towards them. Yeah. <laughs> it took like, like a good full a full second to respond. He was must have just been like he was I don't know. Taking a swig of water or something yep. while he was playing with one hand there. That's that's close call, but team is there. The, the ice path is what begins. really made it happen. Big plays from ADTR already to keep his team in line. It's, I mean, he has Ice Path level 1, which you normally want Liquid Fire or Dual Breath, but no no big deal. Yeah. Could could be worse, that's for sure. Still, still a useful Is this offensive tool. trialing? Center offensive trialing. This is interesting. 
Wow, so that means it'll be Paulson on the Farming Centaur, Lovey on the Skywrath, and Aluka will take the Witch Doctor. That leaves Murakal mid here on the Quap, and that puts a safe lane Darkseer who will get matched up against the NP. So, I think the one thing, I think Darkseer can pressure the tower a bit Approach if the you. NP goes to gank, but like trialing versus trialing with the threat of a Prophet TP is always going to be scary, so that is where Thirst Departure have to be very careful, because Prophet can TP up there, buy a TP scroll, then come back to farm and defend the tower from the Darkseer pressure. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of a scary trial lane on both sides, both with a lot of kill potential. I think FD may be more so if they can get the setup, like hit him with a cask, your Ancient Seal comes in, and then Centaur can just come in and drop the hammer. That's some pretty serious kill potential, yeah. but... If Invasion can survive that initial burst, break it up with either an Ice Path or a Magic Missile, let Razor steal some damage. Then, they're the ones that kind of have the advantage. So it's this weird back and forth, who gets the better initiation? Ooh, I think both sides go. can do a lot of damage. Right now, both Trilines just kind of throwing spells, like, <laughs> kind of without coordination. Like, the cast went on the Jakira, meanwhile, like, the Skyrath and the Sentinel went the other direction, so... Level 1, like, I mean, the Ice Path isn't the best, but also Concussive Shot maybe not the best. You kind of want to yeah. have the Arcane Bolt for the better harass, so... I feel like you need the Ancient Seal for this FD tri lane to really yeah. come online, totally. And Centaur, he even needs the, you know, maybe two points of double edge. It's like level 3 is when First Departure get really scary. So, we'll see how Razor manages this. So even a value point in the uh, Aura could be quite nice, although he does want to get the Plasma kill as fast as possible. Stealing a lot of damage again, but... The cost of HP, which isn't exactly the best of trades for yeah. Magic. He does have a lot of tangos, but first departure, they have I, yeah. actually a sort of a lack of regen. The difference is they have the Witch Doctor, who can give them a lot Queen more sustainable. Oh. Oh. I saw the end of that one. That was a Prophet TP in, and the Creep Wave finished it off. Okay, I caught the very tail end of it also. That was unexpected. That's one of those lanes you don't look... Look at an expected death Radiance to come out early, but I think the Prophet attack. TP forced him to like run a direction he didn't want to, and then the creeps just secure the kill. There's a regen rune at bottom lane. I think it's being left for the Brewmaster, who's Dyer's got his bottle now. Tower is under attack. And yeah, yeah. Okay, it's up. Things are going gravy. Top lane. There's your initiation. ADTR. Ice Path will catch two, and you'll get back to safety here. Pelosi can't really be brought down here. There's a lot of damage. Well, I don't know. 21 damage being stolen. Oh, only 20. Yeah, it's only a level 1 static link. So it seems like Razor was stealing a lot, but ends up not being too much. Okay. Magic Missile going to be ready. Just not soon enough. Short about 15 mana, and that'll be enough for Centaur to survive. He'll eat one of his salves. Yeah. So no one on Invasion has boots is the problem, which is a big deal when you're trialing versus trialing. Especially the Razor and uh, the Vengeful Spirits, the other hero you really want boots on in this trialing. Mm -hmm. As for the Radiant side, boots on the Centaur. He's... Doing pretty well. Skyrath with some boots could help out as well, but... Yeah. All things considered, this uh, tri-lane scenario going pretty well for the Dire. Ketrick, just a couple CS up on the Centaur, but they're the ones in the safe lane. It's more FD that really want to try to find some kills, and so far have been unsuccessful. No. Of course, Brew is now one mid, getting that first blood oh. in off lane. He's, he's one mid pretty hard, I'd say, because Miracle also went two points in Shadow Strike, and when you give up a kill and you start getting... you don't snowball with this build, it just takes a bit longer to get that max scream, and even level one blink is pretty crummy, so... This second point in Shadow Strike is going to maybe bite Miracle in the ass because he got killed there. Okay. He's well. still, like, he's still a head-on, actually a head-on experience, despite going down there and... Yeah, I mean, his CS a, is really good. Better, yeah. 16 and 5 versus the 10 and 1 brew is pretty solid. <laughs> Pretty, pretty big deny difference there. The safe lane is going well for first departure though. Dark Seer, 15 last no hits. Uh, for you. On par with the Prophet. Yeah, he's, got the same. he's got a good chunk of gold. We'll see yeah. Ghost pick up some Null Tallies, pick up some Treads probably. Next he's going to go Phase Boost. So. Yeah, phases, yeah. Uh, going for more of a, a Fighter oh, Prophet build. All the rage these days, what all the cool kids are doing. Oh yeah. Miracle, oh, no top for, room for him. What? Venge picked up a yep. bounty rune, it looks like. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. And meanwhile, down bottom, FCFC, he'll just sip up that bottle, grabs a double damage. So even maybe a little bit of the bad luck coming out from Mir uh, Miracle here, who gets that second point in Scream and still on the level one blank. And you're right, that 700 range on a 12 second cooldown does make you a little bit susceptible. Even like if you hit him with a Thundercut, then he blinks away. Brew can worthy. still kind of pursue. Yeah. So we'll see what the plan's going to be here. Support rotation. Lucent and Lubby, they actually take the Centaur, and it looks like they want to maybe head mid, look for this brew. He's only level 3. This is this is difficult. Boots are on FCFC. It's doable if FC goes, like, if he leaves his high ground to go for a CS, he's going to die. And he's going to try Leech about. Experience to get his level 6, but I don't, it, it, he seems to have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Yeah. 
Dyer had a lane ward, which was just countered by this Radiant Sentry. So oh, okay. they had pretty good vision of the lane, though, for a while and saw that nobody was there. Uh, good positioning from FCFC. He will dodge the smoke. They come right back up. OK is the one that kind of gets initiated on, but gets the Magic Missile off first, stops the Centaur dead in his tracks. Now the stun comes on to Ketchik, who steals a decent bit of damage from Aluka. They'll click down the Centaur. Ghost has joined the party. Centaur goes down. Sprout will lock the Witch Doctor in place. And yeah, level one booty restoration won't save you from that. It'll be three to nil out of the gate as Ketchik in, but picks up a double in the dire safe lane. He was even timing the last hit for the kill secure, which is a <laughs> cheeky Dyer's little play there. It's Miracle at mid, under attack. battling FZ, but he's still okay. And that's a big chunk of gold for your Razor. He's suddenly up to 1,500. Probably just gets... Go for all your basic stat time. Get your wand, get your treads or your phase boots, and, mm -hmm. so, and then start building your mech. Yep. Uh, still a great place for him to be in. FC, FC using that double damage rune in the mid. Still getting out farmed by the Quap by quite a bit. There is a regen coming in. Ice path, but there's the scream from Quap. Merkel secures a vengeance kill on FCFC, and the recovery is real in this mid lane here, gods. Suddenly, a solo kill gets you up to level 7, so even though he's still just got the level 1 blink, and he's probably going to have that until he's level 9. Uh, he's looking a lot better. We'll find that bounty rune at bottom, which mostly just refills his bottle. Yeah, I mean, with that high CS score, he's about five, six hundred gold up on the Brewmaster. So still really good news for the Quap. Who Top lane. To get off that rocky yeah. start. Yeah, ADTR. Cast comes bouncing in. Bounces into the creeps. Ice path will miss. And Plasma Field actually just barely clips Hana, and now the Liquid Fire connects. If OK can hit him with a magic missile, he's actually low on mana. So that's the story of this Venge's life. Hana still nowhere to go. We'll use a healing salve. I feel like if Ketchik had picked up a phase, phase boots, like he's been by the secret shop, could have upgraded these boots. Um, and if he had phase boots, I think he maybe gets that kill. You know, Darkseer lives, just kind of walks around and... I, I don't like this just holding on to gold. I, I hope he's not going for Midas. I feel like... I mean, you can maybe go back for Midas, but I feel like you, you, you want to get your wand and your treads first. Yeah, there he's going to buy... There you go. Wraith Band for the Aquila. Treads and... Yeah, I think this is the much better way to play. If you see the game's going late game, you can go for like that 15 minute Midas, which I think is a better idea as, as like the Razor, who's such an important hero in the early game to mm -hmm. actually go to fights. Yeah, and Invasion will want to stay aggressive here, and at least be prepared to fight, because first departure, come that 15-20 minute mark, that's when they really hit their stride. You've got this Witch Doctor with an ultimate, Quap will have some momentum by then, and uh, maybe maybe an Orchid, we'll see what kind of a build Miracle wants to go for. Has a Robe of the Magi, probably just the beginning of Power Treads. But his farm's still pretty solid. He is number two on no. net worth, only second to that of the Razor. And with that Miracle, does rotate to the top lane. Nobody in mid right now. It was the Witch Doctor who was sort of just hanging out. But Miracle does need to be a little bit careful. Still only level one blink. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a concern. Venge could, he's looking to go in with a stun into Ice Path here, but he's yeah, backed off already in. Be okay, but yeah, just uh, less than 800 HP, a chain stun, and a plasma fill will bring him down. Yeah, exactly. And as we talked about, even just uh, is there a dual breath here? Yeah, it's level one, so that slow is pretty damn potent just to be able to chase him down after he blinks that short range. And but looks like he'll be okay. Ghost still holding the off lane. We'll grab his null tallies and uh, grab a robe of the Magi. So it looks like perhaps uh, the blade mail build will be the choice for Ghost. Yeah, either that or the. I think maybe even an orchid rush with the robe. You think he'll go with the Orchid Rush? I haven't seen as many of the SEA players go for the Blade Mail build. Okay. It's my m main reasoning there, but this is a great Blade Mail game. Like, Centaur, Skywrath, Queen of Pain. Like, there's yeah. so many good spells for the Blade Mail, but... Orchid's more like if you want to actually be able to kill the Queen of Pain and gank her a bit better. Okay. We'll see. I think both could work out this yeah, way. Yeah, it's, it's really personal preference and what Invasion decides is better for, like, their overall strategy, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, FCFC just farming up for that Blink Dagger, nine minutes in, only a thousand gold towards it. As we saw uh, earlier on, his CS score, a little bit lackluster. Now that they've pulled this rotation, Miracle has given him some space to catch up as he's now kind of the dedicated off laner, and there isn't really a mid laner. It's sort of the Witch Doctor who's lingering nearby, but um, being respectful of the Brewmaster who's got some rune control now. Game top with smoke. Could certainly secure a kill. Here we go. Can they grab her before the blank? Drops the hammer onto Ketchik. Morocco gets totally baited here. They set up the kill and Razor right, lives. Gonna or die. will he? He's going to get to deny. Yep, there you go. Still nicely done by Invasion. One for one, but great yeah. trade for them. Down right. bottom. 
Oh. I'll find a kill on uh, the Nature's right. Prophet. Another kill. Is that, that was a stampede, so yeah. Yeah. I I'm really surprised Ketchik doesn't have a mag like a magic stick or a magic wand. That would save his life in so many of these scenarios. If he has that extra little heal or like the extra mana from it, that might have actually saved him there. It's, it's only a level a two item. shadow strike. Yeah. He had the three branches, so he, it was like a natural progression to go for the wand. Instead, he bought the Wraith Band, and I feel like that was a bit of a, a weird choice to not get a magic wand this time. And now he goes right into the chainmail. Still will yeah. forgo the wand. It, at, at some point, it's like, okay, it's not worth it anymore, but it was so, so worth it for the first Dyer's five, ten minutes tower. of this game. It's, I mean, I think attack. it's still worth it now. It's just such a small yeah. investment. That's the Warriors thing. You don't have to upgrade the it to the full wand. Even just the Radiant's stick is, tower is value attack. town. Anyway, Invasion, they move into the uh, Tier 1 tower push up top. They've got three points in the Liquid Fire, and with some tree ants, this is pretty easy. Glyph comes out for first departure, and they will not even make a defense. A little dinosaur tree ant pulls the aggro off the tower, makes it easy. Radiant Ghost gets the last hit, and now they'll clear up the creep wave. Maybe they even look to pressure the Tier 2 and force first departure into a reaction. Mm, they've got the Buckler now on Razor. No full mech just picked up, but yeah, a lot of push potential here. Haven't got any value points in Vengeance or but I think it's fine. The Howl is, the Wave of Terror is just a little bit better scaling, and the Minus Armor should a fight break out to be really nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, look at all these Treants here as Paulson hits a hoof stomp on about half the creep. FD comes in, and they will just pull off the tower. Not going to feed anything extra away. I think all they wanted to do was pull a rotation, force people out of the other lanes. Bottom lane, TP bottom, yeah. Lubby, immediate TP response will escape. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty close He was call, very though. fast on that TP out. Yeah, that was a nice heads up play, but... Also, just a good call from Ghost. If uh, Skyrath wasn't right on the buzzer with that, I think Ghost had a good chance of finding a solo kill. All right, so uh, FC still looking for his blink dagger, a couple hundred gold away. Yeah, and getting closer though. Found some recovery. Can't really like. <laughs> where, where's he going to farm? He's headed bottom lane, but he's got very low HP. So if Queen of Pain can burst him down, or there's an ancient seal, there's no way he gets his ulti. I think he just wants to come in, so he has his ulti there, which he can throw from far, but he's been scouted by this lane ward, so first departure Radiant's may try and punish the fact is under that he's this low. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got his bottle back now, so this Gets returned will. now. This tower Making kill easier. will get him a bit closer to the Blink Dagger. Of course, with the Tier 1 nerfs, it's not nearly as much. Radiance bottom tower Good news for fallen. the Brewmaster. Oh, miracle mid. Top tower Whoa! Almost blinks Gosh. to safety, but Venge will be there with the auto attack. Stampede's used. Oh. Ghost, he goes the wrong way. Oh no, Paulson comes in. Regen rune. Miracle double back, doubles back for it. And it looks like he'll live. Now he's regening up. May try to turn this fight around. Paulson taking a lot of damage. Miracle with the ultimate, just looking for the positioning. Paulson will live. Poor Willy. Nope, Brew will finish him off. Still gets the tornado off on the quap. And now Miracle comes in. Does he burn the ulti onto FCFC? Doing the math, hits him with a dagger. He might. He needs another, at least one more stream. Although he should be a bit worried. The eventual stream is nearby. No stun available. Miracle maybe doesn't know that. And yeah, he's going to back off. Radiance bottom yep, Miracle tower. Miracle still holding on to the ultimate. Now the rest of FD on the retreat. But in comes Jakiro, a twin handed dragon. will stop him dead in their path. Now Ketchik comes in, takes the ancient seal, looking for the proper opening. ADTR gets vacuumed back down. It will be a dead Jakiro. Miracle blinks aggressively. OK's on his way in, looking for the stun. Finds it. Miracle pays for his insolence. Now they get the kill on the Witch Doctor, and it's invasion. That come out ahead in that awkward exchange. You had these drawn out fights. Prophet dies towards the start, but he respawns, and because he's a nature's prophet, he TPs right into the middle of things and helps get those two extra kills with the Wrath of Nature, which is what kind of uh, guaranteed Miracle dying there and set up the stun for OK. So. In the end, I'd say Invasion with a small win, and they're maybe not done. They blink forward on Lubby, and he's kind of alone. Has the backup of Pelosian hooks on, but doesn't actually catch FZ, and Pelosian's going to be careful himself. Yeah. That's a great cast. Yeah, they let him oh live and God. instead turn on to the Centaur. A lot of control from FD across the silences and the stuns, but Razor finds the Skywrath as he gets a little bit too close. Treants all the time, pushing that tower. They get it down. FCFC perhaps in some trouble. Paulison uses a Stampede. Flip stop. The heal is there. Miracle comes in. Huge burst damage. He'll bring down the Brewmaster. They finally find the kill on the Razor. Big dominating streak ended as Miracle just <laughs> racking up the gold. Invasion will be repelled after getting that Tier 1 tower. TP out from Ghost just barely makes it. There was a scream from Miracle, but a little late. And, well, now 1,300 gold up on this Quap. Luckily for Miracle and just first patch in general, Ventral Spirit had no mana that fight for another stun. Like he blinked in, Venge was there with like 10 mana short of a stun, didn't have his arcane boots up until just now, and as a result, couldn't bring down Miracle. And that would have been huge if Miracle blinked in, died. Maybe it doesn't get enough for Sonic Wave, but uh, first departure. Find an alright trade there, all in all. They are forced to rush a BKB first on this Queen of Pain, and that's 
never like an ideal scenario to be in for a Queen of Pain. You generally want to go yeah. for that Orchid. Yeah, just like Storm, you don't really want to go for the aggressive items first, but FCFC almost has enough to burst down Merkel. Might still be able to do it. Goes with the Primal Split, looking for the Boulder Toss. Can he get in range? And we'll see if he can get it off as the Tornado comes out. Nice blink from Merkel towards the river. Where's and that Prophet? Brew, not going to be able to get what he was down. looking for. Trying to hedge his bets, and Merkel will survive. Unfortunate from FCFC. Now gets silenced, stunned by the Centaur. He'll pay! Yikes. And they get a recovery kill. Beautifully done by Miracle, just kiting him around. Yeah, maybe FC thought he had Prophet who could TP in or throw a Wrath of Nature. I think maybe the Wrath of Nature was used. That's what got Miracle so low and, by, and caught him by surprise. So, ah, Bit unfortunate for FC there on the Brew. Yep, uh, absolutely. So looking at the graphs now, first departure holding the experience edge, still about 3,000 gold in the favor of Invasion. And a lot of that coming from the towers. It is 3 to nil in uh, total tower kills here. Looking at early item progression, Razor has picked up the mech. He got the wand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he gets it now. I can't, ah. That's just... Uh, silly. I, I think he'll look back on this game and be like, yeah, that was kind of silly. Should have had the wand. But Ghost will actually go for the blade mount here on the Prophet. And now into a Gloves of Haste. So Recovery perhaps a Midas. Uh, yeah. Perhaps just straight into the Maelstrom. <laughs> Either could work. I want to say it's the Midas because they're going to look at this game. Like Invasion just are a team who like going for these 15-minute Midases to mm -hmm. secure the late game. I don't think Razor will, but I think Prophet. I think it's a good item to pick up here. Okay. Now Centaur. Ward down the other side of the attack. trees. Now gets a lot of vision. Blink Dagger. Ready to hop over, but won't go for it. And instead down bottom, Miracle getting scouted out by the Invisible Vengeful Spirit. Not sure what OK can do, but TP, the razor. TP down. Maybe they can set this up. You need a plus one or, like, Miracle to get baited in and just start trading hits, which... Well, now Miracle gets baited by some ogres. Uh, Invis is about to wear off, so this, this should be fine. Yeah, Ketchik isn't coming over either. I don't think he realizes Invis is about to wear off. <laughs> <laughs> he was still standing there Invis for like two seconds, and Miracle's like, okay. Hello, friend. friend. Hey, the ogres were more hostile than the Ventral Spirit there. Yeah. So things slowing down a little bit here. First departure. Getting some decent momentum. This is kind of that stride when... They're probably at their strongest. Uh, between that 15-20 minute mark, yeah, maybe a longer window than that. But Queen of Pain does a lot of damage right now. Stampede forward right onto OK. But Paulson, he gets stunned. And Vent will buy a lot of time. Now the Ice Path comes out. FCFC goes in a huge thunderclap to get things started. Paulson goes down despite the sustain from the Witch Doctor. Now he gets left behind. Darkseer gets thrown up in a tornado. They'll be able to bring down the Witch Doctor. Ice Path right onto the Darkseer. Actually, won't do a hell of a lot. He'll surge, but still hit by a dual breath. He's going to be slowed up here in a second. It'll be a three for nil as Invasion just completely punished the aggression. Okay. Making that whole thing yeah. possible with a great magic missile. The support, yeah, the magic <laughs> missile. And then ADTR also got a fantastic ice path off as well. That was just solid support play all around. And mm -hmm. I mean, FC comes in, he's not had the best games there, but that one was set up by some great support play. And now they're going to make yeah. their move on the tier 2 tower. I think that was like a four hero thunderclap too, right before he split when he blinked in. Yeah. I mean, just doing a lot of damage off the bat. And they used everything on the support, so there was no ancient seal. The cast did hit his bears, which kind of slowed down his actual damage output from the ulti form. But by then, it was the first depart were already in over their attack. heads. Yeah. Now the tier 2 tower in the top lane will take a lot of damage. The Dino Triant is uh, tanking up all the damage. Cask will take a couple of bounces, moves into the creeps. A little bit unlucky. Now Centaur comes in, hoof stomp on two. Witch Doctor ultimate, doing a lot of damage, finds the kill there. Quap with the ulti as well, but I don't know. First departure now taking a lot of damage. The rest of Invasion come in. Hana low on mana, losing a lot of health. Ketchik will have to let him get away, but now he's hitting hard. 112 damage going for him. Aluka just trying to be the sacrificial lamb. Dies as far away as possible. Still a two for three oh, trade. Miracle just uses BKB defensively, worried about oh, the magic missile. No. 112 soul and damage. You can't fight into that. Radiance top tower. Razor, is under like, attack. This is a, definitely one of like first departure's strong points, but they've got to be able to like either burst down the razor or not let him steal all this damage and then just maintain his like just chasing and damage up with during a fight. Radiance which is exactly top tower what has mm -hmm. fallen. Yeah, that fight it started off slow and then I feel like it just like erupted into sheer chaos and invasion just came out with more damage. I think the mech also uh, made a difference there. Although, Hana has a mech sides, of his own now. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Never never mind, I take that back. Mech and level 3 voodoo, but 
The, the burst damage from Invasion is pretty real here when they yeah. when they put, decide on one target and they're going to go to Roshan, not something First Departure can really contest. They're spread across the map, there's no Taos and GP2. Centaur can make a move, but With, without a Sonic wave, own. I feel like there's just no way. And yeah. that, that's part of the window here. Is, has such a long cooldown. Paulson comes in, catches Ketchik, but he will be able to mech, just tanks the entire Mystic Flare. No problem. He's got the, the oh value cloak, he's got the magic wand now. Yeah. They even stampede to get away. Paulson's like, yeah, I actually don't want to fight with you, Mr. Technology. Lightning Man. And it ends up being an easy rush. A just goes the way of Ketchik and Invasion right back on that high Dyer's horse. Is this is the, is the mech attack. type five man feet, which uh, Invasion likes to do. Yeah, the, the cloak could be turned into that. I think you're better off just getting the Ag Scepter here. Yeah. But we'll see. I agree. We said that last game also and uh, ended up yeah. delaying the Ags a little bit. The casual cloak is still Value Town. Please. I think he could go either way with it and it would. Be, be all right. Pipe. There we go. He's. I think he's got it too. Just needs to bring a health, and it's on the way to the oh, shop. Oh wow! I didn't even look at the courier. Yeah, look yeah. at all this. The main thing is his mana pool, because mech costs two twenty-five. Pipe is what a hundred, a hundred fifty or something. Hundred, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they have at least one set of arcanes. Yeah, just on the Venge. Shakira still uh, on attack. regular boots, so yeah. maybe we'll go for Dyer's the second set of arcanes. With the attack. wand, he should be okay, but like his ulti even costs 150 mana now at level two, so yeah, That's every little actually thing only 100 up. on the pipe, so a little cheaper, but yeah, won't get as many plasma fields off in the fight's the main thing. Like he needs to make sure he static links and ulti. Radiant That's structures really are good. fortified. Allison hiding in the tree Radiant's line here may get scouted attack. out, looking for the right initiation. FD. What do they have on Merkel? Just the BKB, Hana, only a mech. Now they go in, FCFC goes in in the front lines. They're trying to burst down the Witch Doctor. Ice Path won't connect, but it will find the Darkseer. Now he's the target, taking a lot of damage. Paulson charges in, but oh, he gets stunned up, just destroyed. FD, they can't take the heat. They'll be able to get a kill on the Nature's Prophet, but it will cost them their Darkseer. Now Merkel clicking the Jakiro off to the side. And now Ketchik comes in, and I think Jakiro pretty happy just to kind of isolate Merkel from the rest of the fight. Sure, he goes down, but it stops Merkel from going ham on their, their yeah. cores. And if Merkel's BKB was one second shorter, that Ice Path would have hit, and he may have died too. So, yeah. Nice bit play by Jakiro there, waiting in the corner through the Ice Path at the last possible second, so that he thought he Radiant's might actually hit Merkel with it. But Merkel got the blink out. Either way, though, another one vi victory for Invasion, and they actually chip away on the high ground. Mm -hmm. Tier 3 tower taking some decent damage here. There's no glyph. Um, invasion, unfortunately, do lose their two pushing heroes. So sieging that tower does become a little more difficult. They still get in quite a few licks, get it down to about half health. Some heroes respawn. Radiant's no buybacks used by the Radiant. And they will hold the high ground, though. They lo lose their Tier 2 in that fight. And another good exchange for Invasion. Invasion still of ages, too. Ooh, Blink hoofs up on the two here in the jungle. They're going to find OK and hopefully Ketchik as well. Mech and Pipe won't save you here as... Uh, Gonna be on the run. Backup or is on the way. Though. Will they? Team is inbound. The yeah. Aegis will go down, but now they're ready to fight. Ghost in the front line doing a lot of damage to Hana. FCFC. Yeah, the she cast doing so much. He doesn't have a split. Ultimate from Quap finds him a double kill, and it will go the way the Radiant this time. There's been some insane, like, two, three hero attack. bounce and cast just locking down a lot of these, of these heroes. Yep. FC man, what are you doing there? I no vacuum, it. luckily. That edge knocked him out. He's still dead anyway. I can't believe he did that. I mean, he had a. I think that was a case of the yeah. haste rune and vulnerability syndrome. Like, I've got a haste rune. I'm good. I can farm this creep wave and still get away. He, he just gave away 900 gold and lost 400 himself. So that I mean, we'll probably see when the graph updates. But that that skirmish Radiant's is costly. That'll give first attack. departure a little bit of momentum, which as we've seen, scary precedent to set in the mid game when you're giving Mer I mean, look at Merkel. He's got 5,000 gold all of a sudden. Whoa, Maelstrom, what? All right, the right click and quap. Um, okay. What was it? Was it two patches ago where they buffed her uh, base attack time a little bit? So right. attack speed a little better on quap than it used to be. Mushi yeah. used to love going for the right click and damage quap. Normally he'd mm -hmm. go like Daedalus, like hex Daedalus type items. I've never seen him go for like a Maelstrom, though. I don't like the Maelstrom. <laughs> well, it, it does a similar thing to your screen. Mid lane, Hollison, he gets a little aggressive and they'll be able to bring him down. Now the Nature's Prophet goes forward. Lovey will get locked in place. Blade Mail just gives him a taste of his own medicine there and a spoonful of sugar ain't going to make that taste nice. He doesn't care about being trapped on this hill. He just TPs down in five Dyer's seconds. Top tower yep. is under attack. Miracle will get the top tower. He's picked up the ultimate orb after the Maelstrom. So it looks like it was just like a Maelstrom to try to accelerate his farm, but I mean, 
scream Radiance middle tower close to enough. Attack. Doesn't kill the entire creep wave right away, but see high ground being seen. With Primal split up, Invasion feeling like they can at least bring down this last TP tower, maybe even make them move Radiance on the high ground. Middle tower yeah, Centaur is coming up, so still dealing with these sh relatively short respawn timers. Uh, I think they know that there isn't a glyph, is so attack. they'll press their luck as long as they can without having to commit too deep. Here we go, the defense has been made. FD go in, but FCFC gets off the split after a big thunderclap. And it looks like Hana will be that first target to go down. Uh, Witch Doctor Ultimate does a little bit of damage, but ends up getting interrupted. Miracle still can't find the opening, and just a pick off on the Darks here will be enough for Invasion to kind of reset. Yeah, good defensive play. The Ice Path hit multiple here. Miracle goes blinking with the Scream. Doesn't finish off Ghost off of this, and doesn't have BKB, so he has to be a little bit careful. FC blinks and gets silenced, but he doesn't want an ultimate anyway, so... It's just a Venge loss now, and Miracle, he's trapped! He doesn't have a way out of this one, he will drop and... This is getting a bit bloody and messy here as Miracle fires back, but it may be too late. FC blinks in for one more kill, and Invasion is just overwhelming first of all. Alsin gets left behind and might be able to live. The buybacks will scare back Invasion. That's retreat, yeah. You just... If you get out of here without losing anyone else, great. This is a yeah, that's a huge victory. Two Blink buybacks, FC super blinks. costly, and uh oh, now they go in. The blink forward, they find the kill on Jakiro, but it will cost them Paulison. All right, they'll take that trade. Support for core. Yeah. When you're chasing, no worries. Miracle on the run should be able to survive uh, this, no problem. There's no yeah. Sonic wave. I don't. Is he gonna chase this now? I am. Yeah. That'd be a bit crazy. So he could just BKB. Cool. Yeah, Even so. just defensive 10 second BKB, not the best. Yeah, and looking at the graph, you see that little boost that first departure got from that successful team fight, but then invasion just right back to where they started, and then some now 10,000 gold in their favor, and Quap's buyback on cooldown. I think is the biggest thing out of that fight. Now invasion, they can basically wait for primal split up in 30 seconds and say, hey, all we have to do is kill Miracle. He's their big farm core, and after that, I think they have a good chance of breaking high ground. You look at the net worth in the top four, it's all Miracle for first departure. I mean, yeah, like That's the six it. second BKB is just so, makes it so much trickier for Miracle in these fights. So we'll see how things pan out here. That fight went like invasion, the Ice Path Macropire was just perfectly used defensively. Even the, that was a sick vacuum wall, but they canceled the Death Ward immediately as well. Like invasion just did everything right there. Got the, got the primal split off, got the swap, and like they were fine. Yeah, top lane, Miracle trying to do a little split pushing, but Ghost comes in. He did end up going for the Maelstrom, so not that recovery Midas, and now into a BKB. Ghost just proving you wrong left and right here, yeah, gods. I know. But it, it is a sort of an, uh, it's a very European build on this Nature's Prophet. Not what you really expect in uh, in SEA, that's for sure. Well, I like the BKB. I could have I called that one, Andy. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> He's wrong about the, ma the Maelstrom. And the, the Blade Mail is kind of 50 50. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Allison, he'll try and TP out, but hey, there's a nice path there. Lobby will actually be successful in the TP. Still a quick pick on the Centaur, and man, Paulson's just lost so much momentum this game. His item progression now is just not there, and with just the Ogre Club, what's normally a really tanky hero is a pretty easy kill for the Dire. They're actually going to go for a high ground seed now. Centaur dead 30 seconds, Miracle's... Kind of, uh, he can TP w well, in 10 seconds. Actually, he can't Dyer's TP right now. Top tower is under It'll be attack. scary. A bit of damage being applied. Yeah. Already half Dyer's HP on this bottom tier three. And now there is a glyph for first departure. Slightly easier to make this Dyer's hold. Centaur, I don't believe, has a buyback. No, short about 100 Radiant's gold. Bottom tower so Ketchik just laying into it already. We'll see when they want to use the glyph. Miracle still not back. They got that R RNG working against them. Okay, Jakira hits this liquid fire. Hitting, missing liquid fires from the low ground on tier threes is always frustrating. Yes, that is <laughs> certainly so. You gotta wait for the cool down again. And pipe's been used, Miracle's back, Glyph Radiant will get popped to keep the tower alive. Uh, and Invasion yeah, will just back up. Fire, so they may want to wait. Yeah, it's 45 seconds, it's a bit of a pain attack. to wait that long. Not sure they want to wait for the mm. full pipe duration, but even just a spam a liquid fire here, get this tower finished off, then this whole thing gets a little bit easier. Miracle's going Scotty. Ooh, we got some more Scotty Dota. Radiance right. bottom tower. Scotty action, but attack. what is first departure doing? Radiance they bottom left yeah, the base. It's only kind of a fake back from invasion. They didn't even really fake weird. it. Bottom and now they'll get an easy down. tower. Now the initiation comes out, but Hana just gets juice straight away. He gets off a wall, but it does very little. Magic missile comes in. They can't bring down the darks here, but they assert their dominance quite prevalently. Brew uses BKB, so if you want screen, has to be a bit careful not to get Ancient Sealed, and he may actually get jumped on. Yeah, the Silence, they're going to try Burst on FC, the swap out. Okay, has been on point. Two Hero Ice Path as well, the Death Lord from High Ground, anything to cancel it. Nothing just yet, Primal Split will come into play, and Aluka will be brought down after dealing a lot of damage. Ooh. Miracle's dead, and you said it, he's got no buyback. It's just, 
Rax is down, possibly GG. What a team fight from Invasion. Such an awkward way for First Departure to start that off. It seemed like they felt forced into pulling the trigger after rotating to the mid lane. And then Invasion just steamrolled. It all starts from that swap, though. This Venge. I, I swear, man, OK is my MVP this, yeah. this series. I think him, yeah, him and ADTR, the two supports, have been fantastic. ADTR had the really good Mirana play, so... Yeah, both of them played well, but the defensive disruptions last game, and yeah. now OK, he set up some great magic missiles, just stopping the Centaur dead in his tracks multiple times. And <laughs> Look at these little dinosaurs running towards the top tower. <laughs> It's they're the fucking treants. derpy little treants, dude. I can't tell. When there's, it, a, when there there's like is. ten of them, when you get like the double spawn, they just like, and they're all right together. And the way man. they attack too, they bite. They uh, are just taking chunks out of towers. It's, it's funky. Plants versus zombies. Yeah, that's what it is. But there you have it. The best of three series we thought would go all three games for sure ends up being a relatively yeah. quick two games. Well, one hour game one. Yeah. Well. But yeah. Quick game two. Quick. Yeah, game two quick. I, I guess it averages out to be yeah. a pretty pretty normal 2-0 series. I don't think series. the Queen of Pain pick was uh, the, the best. Yeah, one of the know. problems with Quap is it's still a high skill cap hero, and you can dominate early, but BKB is just straight up counter her. I mean, she just has no nothing to deal with it except right clicks. And I guess the Scotty is a step in the right direction, but... And also in BKB first, which I think was okay, but it's not like there was, like, the lineup actually countered Quap. There was Venge stun and Ice Path. That was all there was, that really messed up miracle. Yeah. The Maelstrom was... Well, a bit of a, yeah, just clown. I kind of, I don't know, Miracle definitely had it. Like, he likes to split push a lot. So from that point of view, it helps do that, but it didn't yeah. help his actual team fight. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call it a clowny pickup per se, but I don't think it was the right choice. Yeah. And Even like an Aghanim Scepter just for like the... See, short, I like Ags on Quap. Short ulti cooldown. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a worthy investment. It's also easy build up early on, gives you some valuable stats, some good HP. I yeah. think that could have been could have been an option. I guess he was like, "We're against. I'm against a pipe mech. Let's get physical damage." But Maelstrom isn't really that any, any really physical damage. Yeah, yeah He went this awkward. awkward in between. Even and then the Scotty, I I don't think that was going to do too much except make him a lot tankier. Yeah. So well, following yeah. that now invasion, they're secured in the grand finals, which nice. will be the finals the final series coming up tomorrow. The second, it'll be a best of five. So. Next on the docket, same place, same time, it will be First Departure versus Team Malaysia. One hour earlier. One hour earlier. Yeah. Okay, so what is that, 17 SGT, I think? Yeah. Uh, 1 a.m. on the Pacific Coast. So that'll be a good one. We'll see if Team Malaysia can beat First Departure, and then the winner of that, of course, will be going up against Invasion, who get that, uh, that time to take some notes, watch their opponents, and see yep. what they're up to. All righty. Great. So thanks for joining us, folks. That wraps up our coverage today. That was the Summit 2 SEA Playoffs, uh, day two of three by G2A.com. I'm Zayori. That's Gods. And we'll be back tomorrow, as we mentioned, one hour earlier. Hope to see you guys there. You got spare game codes or any digital goods? There is a place you can sell them in less than one minute. Watch. Go to G2A.com. Click Start Selling. Fast Login. Go to My Account and click on Selling tab. Sell New Item. Enter Name, Code, Set a Price. And done. 
G2A.com Digital Marketplace. Global Selling Simplified. West Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia. 